All right, guys, we are going to be reacting to shocking Chinese AI robot in the world's strangest city, Shangyin. Thank you so much for the support, guys. I mean, China, China's coming out hard, worse than the Kerbal. This Kerbal, you can't even see it, man. A lot of technology, a lot of AI, a lot of stuff going on, guys. We're going to simply jump in here. For those Chinese new subscribers, thank you so much. Support, share with your friends, share it with everybody in your family. I'm gonna react to this and just see what happens. Let's go. This is the strangest and most fascinating city in the world. A train passes through a residential building. There's a gas station on a rooftop of a building and buses drive on sky high roads. Restaurants float on a river. It has the deepest subway system in the world. Something it else, even man. has car elevators. Wow. Driving here is a challenge. Oh my route. God, this is China. These are so complex, you might accidentally end up in a garage 500 meters underground because many of them were once air raid shelters. This is Chongqing, the Chinese capital, being bombed by the Japanese. During World War II, Chongqing served as China's temporary capital and was heavily bombed by Japanese forces. To protect civilians, a vast network of air raid shelters was carved into the mountainous terrain of the city. Today, many of these shelters have been converted into deep underground parking <laughs> garages. No way, man. This city is full of wonders, like a restaurant where a robot girl serves you food. Oh, <laughs> what? Is he a real person or a robot? Stick around to the end to find out. I need to really focus here, man, because this is this is too much information for me right now. And I need to really focus. I need to really focus. Let me let me steam a little bit here. OK, this is going to be crazy, guys. I'm telling you right now. Welcome to Chongqing, a true cyberpunk city that most people have never even heard of. It's a massive city in China. Behind me is a bridge and over there a shopping mall. Chongqing has a population of 32 million, but this might be the first time you're hearing about it. Now, that 32 million includes oh, same as cities like Tokyo, Delhi, Shanghai, or Sao Paulo. But in terms of land area, it's one of the largest cities in the world. We're going to explore it and I'll show you why it's considered the strangest city on earth. Chongqing is built on uneven mountainous terrain. For example, here. Wow. Look huh. around you. Buildings, wow. houses, and shops all on the same level. It feels like you're on the ground floor, but actually, you're on the 22nd floor. <laughs> There's a whole other world above ground. It's a hidden gem among the world's mega cities, often called the 5D city. Wow. It's also famous for its chili. It's one of the cheapest cities to live in globally. At night, it transforms into a cyberpunk city. This is... Chongqing. The city with the most tunnels and bridges in the world. There are countless staircases. And its transportation system is completely wow. wild. There are roads hanging in the sky, countless bridges and tunnels. Wow. It's all built in such a complex way, you won't see anything like it anywhere else in the world. This is the monorail, a type of train that runs on a single rail, not two, like normal trains. That's crazy. What's wild is that it passes through a 19-story apartment building. This was a smart solution to deal with the city's challenging geography. The engineering feat lies in the fact that the railway and the building have separate structures, which reduces noise when the train passes through. So the residents barely notice when the train goes through. These circular bridges are multi-level highways. Wow. With five layers and over 15 different directions. Thinking of taking a bus? Good luck. You'll be navigating dangerous, narrow roads. Just look at how narrow this road is. Oh my God. There's a real risk of falling when driving next to the edge.
This is, this is, I don't know how to explain it, guys. This is. We're filling up on gas now, but not at your usual gas station. No. We're in an underground shelter. Yo, why, why the United States cannot have stuff like this, man? And I think is, you know what? It's, we have a problem with our culture. We do, guys. We have, as Americans, we have a problem with our culture. That is something that needs to be dealt, and that way we can just invest in our infrastructure. In infrastructure. This, this is another level, guys. This is something else, something that we can aspire to as well. You know. It feels like we're on the ground floor, but yeah, we're actually on the fifth floor. This has to be the weirdest gas station in the world. Let's go. Ha! That is weird. How do you? How do you? We decided to take the subway. This is oh. the deepest metro in the world. Look at this, 141 meters underground. We're going down 860 steps. And they have stairs. The deepest in the world. <laughs> they have stairs, bro. It's even deeper than the deepest metro station in Russia. Wow. This one. We're still not done. How many left? It's getting more crazy. <laughs> it just keeps going. It's been over 10 minutes. We've been walking for 15 oh minutes. Oh my God. Last one. Done, we're done, we're done. Yo, shout out to this dude, man. This is a project, man. You're not done? You're going up. Chongqing is a major industrial and logistics hub in southwest China. It ranks ninth in Asia in terms of city GDP. They even have car elevators. Car elevator, get the help. This car is going to ride up several floors. Cars elevator, guys. Cars elevator. Never heard that before. We're about to drive all the way up to the 22nd floor. What's that, Beijing? Look behind me, there's normal life happening. Up here. Tall buildings, homes, people, streets, what? cars. Where you it at? all seems so normal. This is so you strange. Think we're at the ground level, right? <laughs> now, walk all the way to the other side and see what you'll find. Wow. Let's go. We're on the 22nd floor. Yo, you're gonna fall, bro. Chill, chill. Chill, you're gonna fall, bro. Look at all these buildings. They're all built above the 22nd floor. You'll no never way. Know where the actual buildings built on top of buildings? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. It's confusing. Chongqing. Wow. Here's our room. We're staying here tonight. And this is the view. Wow. Oh. Wow. Yo, the camera quality on this is insane. This is the famous hot pot dish. Chongqing is known for its spicy chili peppers. We came to a halal restaurant to eat in the city of Chongqing. This is one of the popular ways to cook food here. Look how they add chili here. They serve meat and fish this way. And pretty much the whole city eats like this. It's called hot pot. They use chili, not only in food. Oh, wow. They also use it in traditional Chinese medicine. It's believed that the heat and spices help improve blood circulation, relieve muscle tension, and fight fatigue. Really? 
Wow. They say that the soles of your feet are connected to every organ in your body, even your brain. Oof. What happened? There's no way, man. The idea is that stimulating your feet sends signals that activate your whole system. No way. It's so spicy in my feet. <laughs> I can't, I can't it's spicy. Another local tradition here is ear cleaning. It's been practiced for centuries here in this city. It's a deep part of Chinese culture. It's not just a matter of personal hygiene, but a deep part of the local culture. It's not only healthy, it's also relaxing. People gather in tea shops and cafes to have their ears cleaned. Wow, look at that. A dinosaur for my ears. It's often a social activity done with friends or family. They start by massaging your ears before the actual cleaning. Mm. You'll find places like this all over the city. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. It makes you feel amazingly relaxed. Mm. I like it. <laughs> they say most people do it once a year, but many prefer it three times a month. Okay. Ooh. They told me I can now hear people all the way in Shanghai. Huh. Then we ended our day at a restaurant with a robot girl. The, I this is this is crazy. I know this technology was coming, but to the point that they are already using it on restaurants. This is crazy. This is something I cannot even I cannot even fathom. Wow. I said be quick, be fast. And she said, Stop telling me that I'm gonna block. <laughs> the world has become scary. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, wow. Nice, nice. How old is she? This is three years old. Three years. Wow. Nice to meet you. She said, Ni hao, take her hand. Oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. She has a feeling? She feel in love or something? She said, I don't have a heart. I only have uh Oh, oh. she needs a battery. What's going on? Charge her. She said, this is my heart. Ah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so she needs charger. So she said she don't have oh, oh. Bye-bye. The era of humanity is over. We're witnessing a massive wow. shift in the world. Yo, a lot of waitresses are gonna be out of their, their job. I'm telling you this. Well, because prices have to come down, guys. And the only way you can really mitigate those prices is by just doing this, man. Like I'm, I'm just being real, y'all. The robot isn't real. <laughs> no. It is true that this girl acted like a robot, but China is full of no real way. robots, and you'll see. Yo, <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. In the next episode, <laughs> subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned. <laughs> this is China. Yo. This is the real China, and we're here to. Yo, he got, got me. The robot's not real, y'all. But China is full. <laughs> it is true that this girl acted like a robot, but China is full of That's real. That's crazy. He got me for a second, man. Yo, mm, I'm locked in with China right now, man. I'm gonna react to China. Yo, that's crazy. China is well advanced when it comes down to technology and AI. They're really hammering the AI aspect of it. Because the, the good thing is that the China has currently is they have the human capital. They have human human capital. Capital that can advance a lot of the infrastructure faster than a lot of countries. Wow. And then there are IQ. I think the average IQ is 107, which which it tells you they're a very smart society.
wow let me know what you guys think guys i'll see you in the next one